You're watching a segment of Shiftcast. If you want to see the full show, head over to the live tab on YouTube or get to Spotify to listen to the full episode. Enjoy. And I'm just going to do this because I want it. I'm taking take A. This is from Ooh. Orthogonal. Orthogonal? Uh, Orthogonal? Sure. Uh, if you guys want to drop some takes and you want to hear us give our uh, take on your take, think, you know, whether it's good or whether it's bad, join the shift cord. The link should be in the description below. Well, take A is, uh, or, or this first one here, is Kendrick Lamar won his beef against Drake? And the answer is obviously yes. It's not even close. I mean, take a look at any social platform. Take a look at uh, the streams. Take a look at Apple Music, Spotify. Take a look at YouTube. He has dominated in every sense. And I'm just going to tell you, I am a fan of Kendrick, but it's not, this is, this is not a biased take. He is just a better artist. That's why I'm a fan of him, because he's a, he is a really, really good artist. He makes you reflect. He has educated uh, by me and, and plenty of others. He is a, a much more versatile artist. I think we saw that with some of the, the different styles of songs that he put out for these diss tracks. He rocked Drake in Drake's arena. You know? In fact, there was a, a record, I think, for the hip-hop genre that R Drake held for most streams on the release day. Yeah, he held he that since 2017. And one of, the, one of Kendrick's diss tracks broke that record. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it's too. just a sweep. It's a 4-0 sweep. It was not close at all. I don't listen to any rap, and even I know this is a fact. <laughs> I'm gonna dispute that. I'm gonna say it was a, it was a, it was a four one. It was a spaceman sweep. I really like the Family Matters song for the for the 15 minutes. Before yeah, we dropped. he put up like that was like <laughs> when LeBron put up 51 points in the finals and he still got swept. Like he he got a game. Okay, like a, you know right, you know enough. when you're watching RLCS and like they get they get game four. Yeah, but like you know it's over. That's how that song felt, but yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll get one. And then he started making up excuses about the daughter, and then it was it went all downhill from there. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, but I'll say this. I think the winner is us. Everybody that got to enjoy <laughs> that moment. Yeah, none of a, us got all our that, dirty that is, a, that is truly just I mean, public, and we all got to enjoy. I don't it. even like rap, but I enjoy drama. <laughs> and, oh, and it was my it drama. Was drama. Was, it was drama. Ooh. Kendrick is Kendrick is uh, my favorite artist of all time. Generation. Uh, I do. I do love hip hop. Um, and yeah, it was. I mean, it was very entertaining. My favorite part of it was Twitter the whole time. Twitter was just absolutely <laughs> hysterical. The memes were so funny. Oh yeah. Uh, the videos were so funny. I mean, people were just. I mean, they're hilarious. They're dropping wilt numbers as far as memes go. It was incredible. Or uh, I could not stop scrolling. I could not stop scrolling. It was so funny. Unreal. All right. Well, let me throw. Let me so throw some of these to you guys. Um, Yins. Yeah. I got one for you. This is from Xenon. Tox is the best player to never make a major. Have you read the shift article on this? Because we go in detail about this. Mm. Finner did an incredible job going back in time, taking all the history from when did he start? 20... 20 I think it was RLCS. 19? Or... I think he was in RLRS in like season seven. I could be wrong. You're talking, about, you're talking about his career or majors? His career. Oh. Yeah, probably well, 2019. Yeah, I think it was 2019 when it really kicked off. Actually, I should. He was in. It. Sorry, he was in. It was like 2020. He 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 was promoted to RLCS the last year that League Play was a thing. So he, I yeah. believe, was in RLC RLRS before that. But he was season nine was when he got into the RLCS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, he's played with so many players. He's been so close so many times. Mm -hmm. Go read the article. It's wonderful. Honestly, this could be like a YouTube documentary, Sunless Khan style. Um, it's so impressive how he's never actually been <laughs> to a major. Like, it's actually a skill of his. I don't know how he does it. it it's I, crazy. That is a, not a documentary I would want made about me. <laughs> I Dude, mean, you know how pissed I'd be if I knew Drees made four four majors and like barely played the game for half his career, and like I'm out here grinding in Europe every single day and I can't get to one because I keep finishing like one point off the pace. I mean, I like, like to had a documentary made about him about being oh, the I worst RLCS player. Did he go oh, like goodness. oh like oh twenty four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Games? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there is there is nothing you you can do to be worse than Tylekto <laughs> in, in RLCS. <laughs> is oh no again impressive. Yeah. Truly yeah. impressive. All right. But yes. 
Uh, Michael, What's this up? is from GC. Shout out to GC. Legend. I'm on being kicked was the best thing that could have happened to him this season. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't even know if he was kicked. Like, I guess that would be the only point, my only point of contention. Obviously, getting off that situation is fantastic. Um, Especially but in I feel now, like, huh? Yeah, it's very yeah. revisionist, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I also don't know if he was kicked. Like, from what Yen said, from what he saw, things weren't very good between the players. Yeah. Um, Ahmad may have been asked, may have asked him released from his contract or might have been bought out, right? Um, where he just didn't want to play with the team anymore because, you know, he definitely wasn't the worst player on the team. Um, and so while I would say it was definitely a great move for him, I, I would argue that he wasn't, pro- he most likely left on his own accord. Yeah. Who do right, you? Y'all throw one to me. <clears throat> yeah, you can't give yourself any more. Okay? That's right. I know. I just had to steal that one. I'm sorry. No, I yeah, had it's okay. It. This one's from Saju. Shout out Saju. He's a, he's a decal designer himself, so that makes sense that you would ask this. Every team that makes worlds should get their own world's specific decal. No. I think they should make a world champion decal. Yes. I think that would be fire. Exactly. And if they get to a point where decals are not this like elusive, exclusive, rare thing, then I think that would be a really cool idea. You know, maybe even major iterations um, for these teams. I think that would be sick. Uh, I mean, but, but right now, I don't think so. It, it feels like it's this very exclusive, you know, they, 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 I mean, right now they're only doing one decal season two, you know? Um, I, I, I think. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, there's nothing wrong with it if they were to, but I, I would say no. Um, right now, what I would like is champion decals. Yes. Major champion, world champions. I think that would be yeah, so totally. good. I, I think it'd be cool to have, like, maybe top. You know how they used to do, like, RLCS Elite? Like, it'd be, like, Season right. 8 Elite, like, yep. Spring Major Elite. Like, Elite decals, then, like, an animated champion decal. Yeah, or do something with the star that some of the organizations have tried to incorporate totally. in their totally. decal design. Right, totally. Vitality has done it. Gen G has done it. Do something with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Don't make it all gold though. Just because they're winners doesn't mean no. the decals yeah. need to be gold. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. Um, let me throw one to Michael. We'll come back to you. Uh, this is from Ponky. That's a fun name. Um, TRK will be Mina's clear goat by the end of this season. Is he not already? <laughs> like. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna say yes. But did you guys know TRK is only 18 years old? Mm, I didn't know Dude, that. I don't. I don't think he is young. Yeah, he is young. I did not realize how young he was. I thought he was like in his early 20s. The fact that he, you know, LJ is older than TRK. Mm. Like that's just a timeline. I actually yeah. knew this because you were gawking about it in shift no, sport. I know because I had to. I found out about it from a Lakeopedia tweet, and I had to go and tell somebody. Like when I thought he was like 21, 22 years old. Either way, um, I think he's been the best player Mina's ever produced for a long time. I think he still looks like he's right there with Kaliers and, and Rawas, and, and they're winning together. So, yeah, clear Mina good already. It won't change by the end of the season. All right, and our final take is going to go to Yens from Rose. Europe's open qualifier four showed that the depth of the region is building once again. Yes, absolutely. And it's, it's building in all the right ways because it's not that... You can't just say that the Francophone teams all had a bad day. Yes, PDS yeah. wasn't playing their best. Yes, Carmen Corp was at their best of their game because otherwise, yes, they're still the best team in the world or close to. But you cannot take away the wins that Oxygen got, that L- Luna Galaxy got in the mix. I mean, they they aren't there yet. I feel I feel they can still be stronger. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oxygen is kind of, you know, they, they've reached a really nice level getting to that top four, uh, getting, you know, a chance at the grand finals as well. Um, it, it's it's really good to see that even a team like Resolve, which had some struggles to get even in, into the quarterfinals, can make it as far as they did. So, yes, it's great to see that the gap between the top four and the rest of Europe is very much closing. Mm. Mm. It is great to see that. I agree. Hopefully we'll go ahead and close it completely. Maybe even jump them. Mm. Oh. 
<laughs> that was just a segment of Shiftcast. Full episode is on the live tab on YouTube or on Spotify, and you can watch another segment right here. <laughs>